Well, actually, uh, and as Jackie sits all over at the mobile home fire, I am actually at the corner of 3rd and Brown Street where there is just a lot of structural build or structural damage to some of the buildings here in downtown Napa. I'm looking at a bail bond uh, building here that has the uh, roof of it, part of the side of the wall has completely collapsed, fallen down onto a car below. Uh, further down the block, there's another building that looks like it has an overhang uh, that has uh, completely come down. A tree has crashed down to the ground. And then the historic court building here in downtown Napa that I'm told by uh, county officials was just renovated. Part of the roof of that has also collapsed down to the ground. Hmm. There's lots of cement blocks, uh, lots of huge chunks of concrete that are laying all around the ground here. Seeing about 75, maybe 100 people who were out here taking pictures. And Annie, I can tell you that everybody is coming up to us wanting to share their story about how they felt the earthquake this morning, about how their homes uh, are structurally okay, but perhaps all of these items inside have shifted, have fallen all over the apartments, have fallen all over their house. But this morning, a lot of them are out here. And Annie, I do want to tell you, I just spoke with County Supervisor Bill Dodd. He's here on the scene. Uh, he tells me that because of the damage at the County Administration Building, their emergency response effort uh, is now headquartered at the Sheriff's Office here in Napa County, uh, opposed to the County Administration Building. So certainly it's not just uh, the everyday folk who are trying to deal with this earthquake. It's uh, county county officials as well, Annie. Mike, I know since 1989 after Loma Prieta, a lot of uh, counties focused on retrofitting the buildings. Do you know if N Napa and that downtown area, if those buildings have been retrofitted? Yeah, we're told a couple of them uh, have, some uh, very recently, and I believe that those are the same buildings that we're looking at where some of that concrete mm. has come down. And Annie, I do want to point out that we can still see some cracks in some of these buildings, so there's still, of course, a threat that uh, perhaps some of these walls come down and uh, police officers here on the scene have warned us but warned us of that earlier this morning that if you get too close to a building if there's another aftershock you don't know how much more of these buildings are going to come down so they're trying to keep everybody safe that's Annie. a good that's a good tip mike because there are going to be uh, aftershocks we've had reports of aftershocks already as we take a, a live look here from our helicopter partnership with abc7 news of uh, downtown napa and you can see some of the damage that mike is describing from the ground here we get another look at it from the air